sounds really funny when it turns off. Once you turn the switch and it goes off, it kind of idles for a minute with that whiny sound and then all of a sudden it just goes <laughs> like it's a, you know, vehicle out of some movie it's supposed to be in like 2050, but it's really a uh, future car, so. I'm very cautious about the idea of driving around with hydrogen. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is, is really important, definitely needs investment and has a long way to go. But you need to work on short-term solutions that are going to reduce um, consumption now and things like hybrid technologies like the Prius seem to be uh, a good way to do that. My primary reason for buying it was because of the, uh, the gas mileage and the environmental um, benefit. I use the Prius for everything now, okay. yeah. um, and I have not had any trouble getting my bicycle in the back. I don't even have to pop off the front tire. Um, there's plenty of headroom, um, and I just put the two, it's a split back seat, and I can put both sides down and just toss the bike in there, and it's a full-size road bike, and it fits perfectly. I'm a car guy to begin with, and this thing only holds 750 pounds, so once they get that into a smaller car, uh, sort of like a Prius-sized vehicle, I'd be much more interested in that, but I know that technology is still possibly a couple years away. When it comes time to actually replace a vehicle, yeah, I think people really should um, investigate the possibility of getting a hybrid. In terms of the environment, I probably think that right now the Prius would be more effective than doing hydrogen fuel cell cars because we're still a few years away from this being mass produced. Um, if people had more options to buy cars like the Prius from maybe American manufacturers or, or all the manufacturers to have a hybrid option, I feel like that would probably have a, have a faster direct effect on the economy because um, we're all being fuel efficient now as opposed to, you know, five years from now. So. Um, I think hybrid cars are the answer for now. I think this could lead into better options like a hydrocar in future where we're producing no emissions.